Hey everybody, so today we're going to do a little bit of hard surface stuff. It's something I used to struggle with a lot, and I had to learn a few techniques. Um, I'm going to keep this video very quick, and we're just going to go over the basics of creating hard surfaces in ZBrush. We're going to start with a sphere, make it a poly mesh 3D. All right, I might pick like uh, metal texture, metal matte cap, just because we're doing hard surfaces. Okay. So let's imagine that this sphere is a character that we've created. Um, we don't really need to go into the detail of creating a character for this tutorial. You get the idea. Once you learn the basics of hard surface modeling in ZBrush, you can uh, apply this to a real character. So what I would do is I'll duplicate the character. And I'll pick the duplicate. And I'll go ahead and turn on DynaMesh. So we have a DynaMesh duplicate. And I'm just going to outline some armor. And I'm using just clay tubes. I'm just going to outline something really quick. I don't really know what I'm going to make. Maybe like a chest plate of some kind. That could work. Okay. So imagine this is a chest plate on your character. Uh, use clay build up so I can get make it a little bigger real quick. See, I don't want to spend too much time on this because the point is to learn hard surface, not to model a chest plate. You can get your technique straight and you can design pretty much whatever you want. Okay. Really good brush for hard surfaces would be the Trim Dynamic. I use that all the time to kind of rough out some edges. Now on this kind of model, I'm just roughing out. This is more like concepting. I'm gonna go through and really clean it after this and it's gonna be very sharp. So I'm kind of just getting the basic shape here. The basic idea of where my hard surfaces are going to be. Something like that. Like that. And then H polish is another good one. H polish will really smooth out a surface. So this doesn't have to look perfect, but the better this looks before you go ahead and start kind of converting it to hard surface, the better off it'll be. The better off your final result will be. Flatten that. I'm not going to spend too much time here though because I'm trying to keep this short and simple. Okay, so I'm using uh, Damien Standard here to just get rid of all that extra that we don't really want to see anyway. Cut some of this. And this is just pushing those edges into the other model, into the sphere, so you're not seeing them. So, say this was the chest plate that we wanted to create. We're gonna go ahead and make this hard surface now. So we leave this subtool selected, the subtool with the rough armor mesh. And we're just gonna switch over to a Z-sphere. And we're gonna retopologize. So. You pick rigging and select mesh. You will pick your rough concept. Go to topology, edit topology, and you can see right here, that's the rough concept we created. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some topology right here. Uh, turn on symmetry for something like this that, so you don't have to do both sides manually. For those that don't know, the topology brush, it draws off of the highlighted vertice. You don't need to go too, too um, high poly here either. Just kind of blocking in. So that's good.
you can remove the alt key and if you make a mistake you can use the move right here you can actually move the vertices around that's good to know uh, and see right now I don't want to move off of that one I want to move off this one so I'm gonna hit control click that and I can do I can draw right off like that and I'm not too worried about tries here I'll probably end up retopologizing again if this was a production model okay so there's that if I hit a I can see the rough mesh now this is smooth uh, which isn't what we wanted right we wanted hard surface the reason this is happening is our adaptive skin is automatically dynameshing and you can see here I'm gonna turn down the dynamesh resolution that's gone but it's still kind of smooth that's because the density is turned up the higher the density the density is like your geometry levels the higher it is the smoother it gets so we're just going to turn that all the way back down so we have our low poly mesh. And that's good for what we want. I'm going to go ahead and make adaptive skin. The skin is right here. All right. Now, if I start adding geometry levels, it starts smoothing out. It's not what we want because we want hard, hard surface. So I just un... It controls Z. Now I did all of that. Uh, to keep the edges hard, we're going to need to crease them. Best way to do that is use the Z modeler. So I'm going to switch to the Z modeler brush. Now I can highlight various faces, edges, and vertices. And when I hold space, I get menus to um, with various options I can use. I want to pick crease over edge loops. So I'll go ahead and do that. And when I hit that, you can see two lines appear. It's kind of hard to see this color. We'll change the color. That's a little better. Yeah, you can see a little bit better. It's still kind of hard to see. Now, if I wanted to do the entire edge loop all in one go I can change this to edge loop complete and I'll do the entire edge loop of course I put that try in there so it's it worked I did the entire edge loop you can see right here okay cool and I'll do the outer one so let's see Go ahead and do this now. So now we have a few hard surface edges. Not exactly probably what you want. So I had a few more. I'm gonna turn off the edge loop complete and just go with, and do the single edges. So I'm gonna do that one, this one, and maybe this one and this one. Okay. All right, so now we have hard surfaces. The reason the back is kind of curving is because we don't actually have a back, but it's okay because we're gonna stick it inside of our mesh. Maybe I'll add one right here. That might look cool. Maybe right there. Does that look? Yeah, that's it. Okay. If you end up with a mistake, like maybe this, this and you start trying to and you realize you don't like these edges you can control Z and undo we can go back here and you press alt and it removes the hard surface edge Let's see now it's gone all right so that looks okay and we're gonna switch real quick back to our original concept there it is with the concept hard surface and I'm going to append the new one there, which we can't see yet because we still have that concept. There we go. 
so I turned the concept off. And so, like I said, if we're imagining the sphere as our character, or whatever we're modeling, and we put the hard surface on, it ends up being right there. And I can still go through, because I see something I don't like. I'm going to remove this one, I don't like it. And now I can go back. Here we go. Um, and as you can see, those curved edges in the back, they're just hidden because they were they're pushed inside of the model. Okay. Now I'm going to merge them together. I'm going to delete this concept because I don't like it. It's probably a good idea to keep it just in case you want to make changes, but since this is an example, I'm just getting rid of it to clean things up. I'm going to push these together now. Merge down. And there we go. Now, I can activate Dynamesh, and you're going to want to retopologize anyway. Like I so said, we have this try in there, and you can keep them separate meshes, but if you're trying to put it together, they're making a game model, you're going to want to retopologize. We're going to want to turn this up a bit to keep the resolution for the, the hard surface. There we go. not perfect we could turn it up higher and we would get rid of a lot of this mess right here but it's really not that bad if I was doing a uh, high-end production model I would turn it up way higher let's try that I'm slowing things down yeah so that's a whole lot better and then I would retopologize it make it really low poly export both of these this really high res mesh which is 3.9 million polygons, and use that to bake my normal maps. I'm going to show you guys another technique. We can also turn symmetry back on. Mask out. Maybe I want to make some armor right here. And some tool. Extract. smoothing down so we could extract this and you automatically get some hard surfaces let me do this mask. sharpen this mask There we go. I'll thicken it a little. It's thicker. There we go. You can see it made polygroups for us too. This is something you'll either have to uh, smooth out or um, maybe even retopologize. It actually created another sub tool for us also. Another technique to make some of these hard surface shapes is to use the topology brush. So we're going to go back to our sub tool, original our character, and use the topology brush. And it's kind of cool because I can just kind of draw what I want. And if you make a mistake, you just hit Control C and undo it. There we go. Okay. Let's 
So when you're doing topology brush, if you just click on the mesh, it creates topology for you based on the topology you drew. You go back by hitting Control Z. The thickness is determined by the thickness of the brush, so you see I just made it thicker. And now my mesh is a little bit thicker. Um, now the only real problem is this mesh is stuck to our original character. If we want to separate it, we go to Subtool and Split. Split to parts. This splits anything that's separate. That's not um, like welded to the original model. So, there we go. There's our new topology. And it automatically creased edges for us, which is nice. So once I add geometry to it, we get some nice edges. Looks like... Let's see. Looks like it creased the middle force too, which I don't like. So I'm going to remove that. And there we go. Now the middle is nice and smooth. And I'm going to crease these corners. Okay. There we go. So there, a nice little plate. Um, here's another trick. Uh, as you know, nothing in real life is this sharp. It's kind of unrealistic. So what we can do is we can create a little bevel. And a lot of people will you know, take brushes and start you know, doing something like this. But, I know a better way. We're gonna lower the resolution, and you wanna get it, you know, fairly decent resolution like this. You can still see some of the polys, so that's no big deal. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna geometry, crease, uncrease all. This takes away all our creases, but you see, it created a nice bevel. It might be too much, so I'll just undo. Then I'll add another layer of geometry. Go back to Uncrusol. There we go. So, it's not bad. It's nice, it's even, it's beveled. If that's still too much, just undo. Make sure your creases come back. Undo until your creases come back. Add geometry. Uncrusol. There. That's some a smaller bevel, but it still looks really good. Alright, so after that I would definitely join them together, retopologize, and use this high res to create normal maps. That's about it. I hope this was beneficial, and thanks for watching.